Welcome y'all to the world of Android. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a custom ROM onto your phone. This goes for any phone, so as long as it's an Android phone and Windows 7, but I don't know how to do that yet. But I have Android. So anyways, like I was saying, this will show you how to install the ROMs onto your Android phones. I have a HTC sensation right now, so um, this is going to apply for me, but it doesn't particularly. Everything that I'm going to show you will go towards your phone too. Um, these are the files I'm going to be installing onto my phone today. Um, I will show you how, what you need and what needs to be done. First off, you need to have root for your phone. If you don't have it, you should get it because without it, you're not going to be able to install custom ROMs. You know what I'm saying? Um, each phone has a particular way to install root or get root access, I should say. Um, it's not really hard unless they haven't implemented it yet. Uh, mine there for a while, I had to use a temporary root, um, but since they most recently had unlocked the bootloaders and everything, I have permanent root access. So, uh, now that's why I'm going to be showing you how to install everything. Um, after you get root access, make sure you install a custom recovery. I usually use Clockwork Mod or ROM Manager, whatever you want to call it, because um, that's the one I always have used. It's always worked for me. Um, with that, you can go into the application and install ROMs because you can actually download ROMs and other stuff from that. That's one way you can do it. Um, another way is you can get it off the internet, which is the way I'm going to be showing you to do today. I will probably also show you how to do it on the phone too after I get done. Um, well, yeah, I can show you. Um, then after you do all this, what you should do is you should back up your apps. Um, one way to do it is with um, Titanium Backup or a backup or some sort of application that will back up your apps. Um, I also have a little computer app that I use for that I had created, which is right here, which will back up all my apps off my phone to my computer. Um, also, when you're in recovery mode, make sure you back, um, do a backup on the ROM you, use, you are using at the time. If it's your stock, um, I would back it up. Or if it's another ROM that you're coming from and going to another one or a new up-to-date one, usually back it up. Sometimes a new ROM might have um, some problems with it. If you don't like it, you can always go back to the other one that you had that you didn't have problems with, which is always a good thing. Um, Sometimes when you're going from one ROM to another or upgrading, sometimes they require you to to wipe because it might cause problems if you don't. Um, and I know on the Samsung Galaxy um, updates or ROMs of any sort, they always wipe the phones. I don't know why, but I know with on and I never had that problem when I was running it on my G1. Anyways, after that. If you want to get them off the um, internet, most people usually get them off of XDA developers. Let's go to the forms. Um, you can just skip through all of this and select your phone. Usually it's whatever it is. Development. Mine is the HTC, so it's somewhere in here. Oh, wait, that was a flyer. Sensation. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then just go to Android Development. Usually that's where they have all the ROMs that you can download. With this one particular one, they do have a um little list of all the ROMs that are out as of right now for um, Sensations. Um, I currently right now have Lee Droid Sensational. Um, I'm actually going to be upgrading to the 
uh, was it HD Re uh, Revelation or where is that? Mm, for some reason it's not on here. I thought it was. Um, but anyways, uh, wait. I thought I just saw it. HD, HD. Maybe not. HD. Pretty much this is what I'm going to be using for my phone. Um, this is what I'm going to be putting on there. Um, it's pretty cool. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm hoping for something good. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, install. I'm not going to show you how to install recovery and all that. Um, if you guys need a tutorial for that, just let me know, <clears throat> and I'll kind of figure out a way for something that best suits you guys. It's not hard. Just after you have root, just download Clockwork Manager or ROM Manager, which is this bad boy right here, which is free. You can buy the $6 one, but I just use the free one. It's easier. You don't have to pay for no money. And you could download ROMs and whatnot, and it'll install the custom recovery with it. Um, I most recently had uh, made a wallpaper. Uh, if you guys like it, you guys can download it. I'm gonna have a link in the description if you guys like it. Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, install a ROM. So let's get started. Alright, now since we're into the ROM recovery through Clockwork, you can go through and start with your backup. You just have to use your up and down um, volume keys, and then you have to just use your power button to make it work. Do a NAD or backup first, just hit the power again, it will automatically do the backup. As you can see, I already did a backup. Then all you have to do is go back down to go back, and then you would want to go to install from SD card. Then you you don't want to use the one that it says apply uh, update because the file has to be update.zip. Usually some people just um, just leave it as they are, so just choose the zip dot, um, from uh, SD card. And then you can just select which one that you're going to install. These are all the ones that are on my Samsung. I just got to just hit the power button again. It will automatically start installing the ROM. I don't want to do it because I don't want to wipe my ROM that's on there right now. Because with the Samsung, it actually does wipe everything on your phone. Um... Well, I guess I could show you. Uh, which one do I have on there right now? Is it Ginger? I just put this one. This you can also do the same thing for your um, bandwidth. The Samsung calls theirs the KAs and KBs and whatnot modems. Uh, and then the other ones call them something else. Uh, that's pretty much the gist of it.